Okay, family, I came on right quick to um, to do um, the same tag that everybody else pretty much is doing right now. Um, one of my subscribers, I'm, I'm going to try to pull her up. She did it. I know I saw Nina's this morning. She did it. And I was called on to do it. And I think um, a lot of people are doing it right now. And it is uh, my perfect imperfections. Let me see if I can pull up. Hold on. Anyway, while I am doing that, um, my perfect imperfections. You know what, family? I have... I have my own set of 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 um, insecurities, and I think most women do. And as a matter of fact, I think maybe a good ninety percent, a better of us do. And a lot of us won't admit it, but I think that we do have them, and that is because if we didn't, why would we go through all the great lengths to? look a certain way you know or to per to be perceived a certain type of way why do we trip when our dudes go out and cheat cheat on our motherfucking asses you know but yet we got when we do call him out on it we have to talk about what the other chick was looking like when we know nine times out of ten she don't look equivalent to half of what the fuck we look like you know what i mean so i mean and it's always it always goes back to aesthetics and, you know, a lot of women don't like to talk about that, but I, I seriously think that we all have some form of insecurities. We as women, we just do. Now, um, as far as I'm concerned, my imperfections would be, um, I don't like the way my skin is now. My skin is boo-boo. I mean, it, it, it. And over here, it gets real scaly right here sometimes. And it um, it gets real dry and patchy over here. And um, and all this shit is just, this is new shit to me. And I don't like that. I don't like the, 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 the scaliness that I, that I have going on here sometimes. For whatever reason, too, my bottom lip, it seems like it's getting darker. I don't know what that is. Y'all help me out. I don't know what that is. It's my bottom lip is starting to... I don't know. I think I'm... I think it's a motherfucking curse. Because I'm going to tell you why. Now, I fucked around, y'all. Now, y'all know I always tell y'all, I ain't never been high. I ain't never smoked no weed. Y'all, how about I hit this blunt, y'all? And when I hit this motherfucking blunt here not too long ago, ever since then... I don't know if it's just mental. It could just be mental fuck. My own mental fucking with me, right? Because I don't even think I did it good enough to really get no serious buzz. Because I really didn't see much of a difference, really, anyway, after I hit it. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't really see that much of a difference. So, you know, it made me horny as fuck. But hell, I mean, that's the norm and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I was like, okay. But ever since then, ever since that m motherfucking day, it seemed like my lip has gotten darker y'all and i'm like what the fuck and then i was like okay well maybe i need to put some little vaseline and take a toothbrush and brush it you know that, that that's good that's good to do for your lip you know for especially if your lips chap and shit a lot you put a little vaseline on the on the toothbrush and brush your lip and shit and it makes you it's, it's real good for your lips to make them extra soft and shit so i was like okay well maybe that's what the fuck i need to do because i don't know but that um, my, uh, my surgery scars, my surgery scars truly fuck with me, y'all. I mean, my surgery scars, it's like, man, you know, because, I mean, I did it, you know, and then to the, that speaks a, that speaks a lot of volume, you know, when a motherfucker go under the knife, be it, they, they just go and get breast augmentation, you know, just, and, you know, because that's like a simp that's simple shit now, you know. But, you know, if she, if a woman gets breast augmentation and it's not because of a mastectomy that she's had, isn't that a form of insecurities? You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, what the fuck, you know? 
And so for me, um, I I had lipo. I've had thigh lift, arm lift, tummy tuck, and it's like you know, I'm tic tac toe like a motherfucker. I'm on some zebra type status, you know. With my clothes on, you would never see it, you know. But hell, I mean, at the end of the motherfucking day, I I I know that it's there. So that's one of my perfect imperfections. Um, and so that's not perfect. That's just a motherfucking imperfection. So let me clear up that motherfucking title. Okay. Um, my hair is another imperfection of mine. Y'all, let me tell you something. My shit is connect the dots like a motherfucker. I mean, I'm so suck so fucking serious and that's why you know i go back and forth to my dermatologist because um you know my hair just started thinning out and so um i was like what the fuck is going on i know my mama's hair was thin my sister she on that low-key ass bozo type shit you know what i'm saying and i was like you know what i'm not getting ready to go i'm not getting ready i ain't going out like that you know what i mean and I was like, you know what? If it's some shit that can be done to prevent some shit, I'm getting ready to do it, you know? But now that I'm getting older, it seems like my hair is getting thinner, 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 and thinner, right? So, um, um, my dermatologist, you know, they had put me on spiral lactone. I mean, we was going through all kinds of shit. Like, now, this morning, they got to tell my we're going to do some, um, steroid injections and all this kind of shit any uh, i mean i'm doing anything i said that my last resort is i am gonna go get me some um plugs and shit because i'm not finna fuck that you know i'm not getting ready to be told to fuck up i'm i just can't do it and that and and i just i just now unless i'm going through a bout of chemo or something like that and that's some shit that's just to be expected but you know on some regular shit, I can't go out like that. I, 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 I just I just can't. And I have this big, huge fear. I have this fear of mine that as I get older, my booty go, my booty shape gonna change. Um, you know, my breasts already do what they gonna do. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got to, you know what I'm saying, hunch them bitches up. You know what I mean? So it's like I just, I don't want to change. You know, and it's like, bitch, what you talking about? I mean, that's like an inevitable, you know what I mean? But it seems like now that I'm getting older, I'm getting paranoid like a motherfucker. I'm getting paranoid like shit because I'm like, okay, now these motherfuckers are saying I got thyroid issues, hyperthyroid, motherfucking eyes get to bucking and, um, my motherfucking hair is doing, doing her damn thing and, all this kind of shit. So, okay. Cause, so, now, they coming with that shit. So, I'm like, okay. You know, I I'm, I just, I don't know. Um, so, my hair will be another uh, uh, perfect imperfection. Which, again, I won't say perfect. But, that's an imperfection of mine. Um, another thing is... Um, my overbite on my teeth. Now, my teeth are straight as shit, but I'm Bugs Bunny like a motherfucker. I mean, my shit is just all like, you know, it's like, and then, you know, I catch the shit and try to straighten them up. You know what I'm saying? I try to, you know, level them motherfuckers back up. You know, it's like when I catch it, I'm like, okay, bitch, okay, this, these is overlapping this motherfucker. You need to fix it, you know? And the cold part about it is I had braces for a long time. Me and Tony both had braces. And for my teeth to be not, you know what I'm saying, meeting up together right, it's just, I just don't understand. And I don't want to go back and go get me the, you know, get me the grown up braces and shit, but it's like, you know, that bothers me. I don't, I don't, I don't like that, you know. And I guess, you know, another thing too, and I don't think that it's a, I think that's a mental imperfection. And the mental imperfections, I got a list of them motherfuckers too. Um, but before I get to the mental imperfections, let me go with, uh, let me finish this shit up. Cause I know I'm all over the motherfucking board and shit. But, um, yeah, so I would have to say my scars, my hair, my skin.
then and my grill. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. And and my little my little my little tummy. You know, I mean, even though I don't went through and then had all this motherfucking shit done, it still seemed like now in certain pants, it seemed like my stomach is flat as a fucking board. You know, but then in certain pants, I'd be like, you know what, bitch, I could still grab more than an inch. You know what I mean? It's like, didn't you, pay, bitch, didn't you pay over twenty thousand goddamn dollars, thousand dollars, to look a certain way and your shit still ain't right? You know what I mean? So, um, I have. I have insecurities about that. I, I have, you know, and it's like, you know, now I'm just, I guess I'm searching for something. I'm searching for something, you know. And then there's some of us be like, Tina, goddamn, you know, especially when I'm all well put together and I'm feeling like I'm feeling myself and looking cute that day. A lot of people don't see what I see. You know, they just see on the surface and shit, but they don't understand. It took two hours to look like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just going to tell the truth about it. A lot of people ain't going to tell the truth, but hell, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to tell the truth about it. So, those are my physical imperfections. I guess I have to come back on and do my uh, mental ones, because I got a gang of them motherfuckers. So, anyway, family, let me come back on to part two. Wait, first, let me take the time. I might have enough time. Oh, I got enough time. I got enough to fucking time. Okay, now here we go. Now, my mental perfect imperfections is... I'm a worry ward. I worry my motherfucking ass. You let some shit get next to me. Bitch can't sleep. I got to have a bed full of motherfucking Reese Cups and Kit Kats. Um, and I'm just throwed off. I'm just completely... My whole day is fucked off. I can't shake shit off. You know what I mean? Like a motherfucker be like, dust your shoulder off. I, I'm not her. Once some shit got to me, baby, I can't sleep. I'm up in the middle of the night. I'm just eating all kind of things that don't go together. And I'm just, wow. Yeah. Another uh, mental perfect imperfection is once I started on them motherfucking Zodiacs. Y'all watching them Zodiacs to get you fucked up. Because now, you know, when I meet a motherfucker, uh, when is your birthday? You know, you don't want to come out with that old float on shit. I'm Aquarius, and I like a woman who can hold her own. And I, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to come back and break out with the song and shit. So what you say is, in a, you know, a low key version is, when your birthday? That's how you do it now and shit. And so when a motherfucker come out and say, oh, my birthday is December 28th. Oh, shit, he a motherfucking Capricorn, another motherfucking Tony. I'm good for um, chalking motherfuckers up in the same bag sometime. You know, just because you a Taurus don't mean that all Tauruses are going to be alike. You know what I'm saying? And so, but once you start following those fucking Zodiacs, you know, it's like shit. You, you tend to only want to meet the people that you feel that you mesh with, according to the book and shit. And so that's another one of my uh, imperfections are, you know, I, I, I need to get away from them fucking Zodiacs. Uh, I'm a procrastinator like a motherfucker. Hold on, let me check my time. Okay, got a minute and, a minute and something. I need to, um, my, my, I lose track of time. I'm always late. Um, I don't do shit to the last minute. Um... Hmm. I um, I have a tendency to give too much, you know, too much of me to people, and then I have ain't ain't, ain't this some motherfucking shit? You give all you give to motherfuckers, and motherfuckers only give you a quarter of what the fuck you get them. How the fuck you know? Can you expect motherfuckers to do what you do? You know what I mean? And it's like that's another thing that I need to change and rearrange about myself. It's like you know what, Tina, you're Tina, and that's so and so. They're not gonna do like you do. You know, um, I know I'm at my time. I got a few couple more, I think, but I I guess I just stop it right there because I don't want to go back on this and make a part two and shit. It's like rather redundant, and I know it's, I was all over the place and shit. But anyway, your girl is stole off, so I guess that gives me a pass. Hell, if that give me a pass, hell, give me a check. You feel me? 
I'll take that 800.